Hi, sweet peas. Welcome back to another Saturday, another week, another vlog. Oh my god! I'm sorry it's Saturday. Oh, I'm not sorry it's Saturday. I've taken this week for myself to sort out a few very complicated things and I am so excited for this weekend. Uh, we are currently approaching Hertfordshire because we're going to see two very special people. That did not stay green for very long. Three very special people. We are spending the weekend with Alex and Nate, who are two of our friends, and we're so excited. We've had this in the diary for like a month and a half, I think. Since Trans Pride. Since Trans Pride. When was that? Um, it has been like okay. a month and a half. No, it's not been that long because I just turned... I'm seven weeks post-up on Monday and we went just before I was two weeks post-up. So, so five, it's been weeks. five weeks. Okay. Over a month. Uh, no, I said a month and a half. I was one week off. Come on. Still, for me, that's pretty damn good. whole week out. <laughs> I remember because that week was like one week into our super busy period so i remember saying when we put this in the diary this will be our last weekend like away for a little while mm. and that was very exciting we were also um invited to head up to manchester pride this weekend and we were like oh do we do we not do we do we not but um do we, we do wanted we not, do we not not do we do, <laughs> do we not do we not we wanted to spend Where's it that? with uh alex and nate because they're cool um, we deserve a chill weekend. Oh my god, this road system. But anyway, yes, we're going to see Alex and Nate. The third special person we're seeing is my mum, because she's relatively nearby. We're dropping off this little lump under this towel is Polo. Um, he wasn't under a towel, he was just getting a bit distressed, and when animals get distressed, covering them is the best way to stop that. Nice. So. Now he's sleeping, yeah. So we're close by, we're gonna drop him off, and then Nate uh, has suggested, because Alex loves goats, <laughs> Nate suggested that we're gonna, like this place where you can go and like feed goats and other sort of farm animals. I'm super hyped about it. We're gonna go spend some time with some it's goats. It's actually really good fun. Have you been to the one at the zoo? Like the little petting farm Yeah, like things. the little petting. I think it'll probably be like that. I've always wanted to, but I've never gone in because whenever I've gone You've with my mum's yeah. side, no, they're just like, they're smelly and like pigs. My family have an issue with pigs, oh, right? So I've never like pigs, done that stuff. And then on my dad's side, they're all terrified of geese. Oh. I remember going with like Aunt Zuby, but my daddy man got but, nipped by a geese once. That's and so we've, it was. But you I know saw her thumb bleed. Do you know petting areas they don't typically have geese or pigs? I like, think the ones normal. that we've gone to have done. Oh, because it is normally just like goats. Well, do you remember when we went to Dudley, there was a giant fat pig and it was so cute. It's like, <laughs> that was cute. And there were chickens and we chased the chickens. So I have gone to a petting area with you. Yeah. And there was a kid. That's the annoying thing about petting areas normally. There's kids. <laughs> Bloody you hate those kids. To, you do have to wash your hands. I do love kids. Don't, I'm just saying they're like annoying um, when you're trying to just chill out with adults. And like in this particular one, when I went with Jamie to Dudley, we wanted to go and see, I can't remember what it was. It was a... Maybe it was a goat. Can't remember. But um, a kid like threw up. Oh no, that was at Cadbury World. Well, that happened there too. See, kids just throw up all over the place. No, it did happen at the oh, petting okay. area. Yeah. Oh, the really loud little ones, and they were just allowed to run after the animals. And, if and they were like, like terrifying my, the chickens. If my kids did that, that's the they one. They would be in trouble. Those were the ones. To the animals. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to hang out with goats and of course we've chosen the bank holiday weekend to do it so there's probably still going to be lots of annoying kids but it's chill and this drive has it's been chill. lots of annoying this drive has been lots of annoying it's been like a very stop and starty one there's a lot of congestion but that's what happens when you drive on a bank holiday you know everyone's out to have fun oh God, you know us included just... we're yeah. stopped because there's this that adorable old, old man crossing a zebra crossing really slowly with a zimmer frame you can't get mad no you can't <laughs> look we found people <laughs> As if they magically appeared. Okay, we're here. Um, we're here. Where are we? Where's Where's the farm? Oh. Why are we at a farm? I didn't realise we were going What does that say? There's a goat. What does the sign say? Wait, what? Wait, Welcome what? Welcome to the Bucks Goat Centre. <laughs> Wait, what? What are we We're doing? not having lunch. We're not having what? lunch. What? <laughs> oh, we're not getting waffles? We snap. <laughs> yeah, what? but you're getting goats. Love goats. Goats. <laughs> Are we life. really? Yeah. Hello. Chickens do change. Oh my gosh, they're vicious. <laughs> Look at that girl. That was just like a <laughs> bit. Hey. That one's got it. Oh, 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 oh. oh my 
<laughs> oh my god, that's so friendly. I wanna be the guy. <laughs> Look at this little guy at the back. <laughs> you lick my hand. Hello. Hello. That is so cute. <laughs> You're pretty. Oh, hi. You're pretty. you have very <laughs> pointy horns. Wow, your eyeballs are scary. Are they? Oh, yeah, yeah they are. Oh, there we go. Mm. <laughs> big one. That is so cute. Oh. Okay, Shaba, don't be scared. Oh my you god. Can do it, oh my you god. Can do it, you can do it. Do you want one? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at the goat boobs. Are they boobs? Titties. Oh wow. I thought that was a very big ball. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Look at these piggles. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you're so large. This one is oh like my gosh, look at the snorting. It's like you winners. Oh thank you. Oh, no sounds. Sounds like my grandpa. Here you go. Go that way. I'm gonna try and touch you. Oh, they feel funny. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, that's cool. 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 Oh, yeah, look at the ears. I mean, the face is a bit not doggy, but... Oh my gosh, can we steal you? You're so plump. I would call you Nugget. Would you like another one, tiny goat? Here you go. It's just here. Just here. There you go. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute, but your eyes are kind of creepy. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. I love the beards. You this could one, plait that. Doesn't this one look um, like a cobstock? Yeah, a little bit. This one has like neck hair. It does. And testicles off its chin. What? Yeah, the, yeah. It's a common goat joke. <laughs> this is a licky goat. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice. laughs> You're so cute and no one's feeding you, so I'm gonna feed you. There you go. Don't eat me. There you go. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. You guys are so young. Oh, oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're also so licky. Okay. I love you. I love you too. No, 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 don't fight. No, come back. Yes, look. Good boy, girl. Good, good goat. Good goat. Yes. There you go. Can you just stay here? You be friendly now. There you go. Oh. You're actually quite gentle. I don't know why I was scared. Oh, I found my favourite goat. I feel like that's the seventh time I've said that today. I will name you Agatha. I hope you're happy. Goodbye, Agatha. You have a good day now. So pretty. Hello. Nice to meet you. So tiny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh dear, yeah. so I like, I like look, look at the size, they're so tiny, oh they're sleeping on each other, I can't tell where one ends and one begins, <laughs> this is a baby guinea pig, it is so cute, I just want to stroke you, I'm sure that's not allowed, oh, there's another one, they make little weak weak sounds, oh, there's another one, this is a mama, and this is her little baby, I don't want to get too close. I'm sorry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, yeah, okay. Hi cutie, look at the tiny little horns. You can't really eat that. And I forgot to bring them. Oh no. Bad, bad Oh no. Oh no. Hi sweet peas, it's Monday and we're home. Yay. We came back from Nate and Alex's at like, 3am yesterday I just plonked myself into bed I was so tired it was really cool it was so fun it was a wonderful weekend I can't remember how much I vlogged on the Sunday the goats were so cute and so fun we ended up spending the rest of that evening like gaming also went to a park played cat for a bit which was a bit bizarre but so much fun then on Sunday we woke up and we went to like their local town and just explored the area it was super cute I love wild food shops they are incredible onions 
Onions. <laughs> it's how you get out. That's the real question. <laughs> This you guys is are adorable. <laughs> it's, it's coming. It's coming. Halloween. It's coming. Also, I have to show you this stuff because it was amazing. Um, I love going to like world food shops. They're the most incredible things, like the little food markets. And they also do the best fruit and veg. And in particular, I got these beautiful peaches. How amazing do they look? The smell coming off of them is just incredible. Um, oh no, I bought one for Nate and I accidentally forgot to give it to him and now it's in my bag. And we also bought these tiny mini aubergines. Aren't they so cute? I remember my mum bought some mini aubergines and she sort of roasted them and stuffed them with couscous and mints and all sorts. And it was very yummy. So I'm gonna give that a go. And also a hat do. I had to, how amazing is that? <laughs> I'm so childish. Anyway, that happened. We took Polo down as well, um, and he was with my mum for a bit, and then we picked him up and took him back to Nate and Alex's. And Nate's a little bit allergic, so we couldn't keep him with us the entire time. But they had fun, and Polo had fun, didn't you, gorgeous? Didn't you enjoy your little holiday? I love it when we can take the cat places, or when we're like not too far from him, because he does not struggle but like I, I feel bad I feel bad when we can't take him with us places and it kind of feels like it's a holiday for him too when we can see him exploring these different areas and getting all excited about it right I came down to the kitchen because I'm gonna get some water it's currently coming up to 2 p.m on bank holiday Monday how do you guys spend your bank holidays do you have any plans or traditions normally our tradition Jamie and I will go to what's it called uh, McDonald's for their breakfast menu and I limit it only to bank holidays because otherwise he would just have it all the time. We didn't end up doing it this time because we came back at 3am so there was like no uh, way in hell that I was going to get up to go to McDonald's before 10 or whatever time it shut. So it's going to be a chill one today, we're heading over to Christine and Malcolm's later on this afternoon for some dinner. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this but we're also planning their 40th wedding anniversary party. How awesome is that? What a milestone. And that's happening mid-September. So got some like party talk to do, that kind of thing. Apart from that, it's just gonna be a really chill one. I'm in my sports bra because for the first time in a little while, it's probably gonna eat anything in there. I hope. <laughs> um, for the first time, I am doing exercise. Uh, since the busy period happened, uh, started, I think, over a month ago, maybe nearing two months now, when we went down to Brighton for my academic conference haven't gone to the gym there was that all the pride events uh jamie's surgery so much has happened and i've missed out on like a month's worth of progress and i feel like crap for it and i look like crap for it so yes i'm gonna get on the bike now bike for like half an hour intensely if i can <laughs> and then just enjoy the rest of the day dinner at the in-laws i'll be able to say that next year giant marshmallows over that. <laughs> you got two. What's coming in yours? Jamie also bought this kebab. So I'm going to try roasting some of this one. It's very pretty. Anyway, yeah. I've got a red dress, but if you're wearing red dress. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> Alexa, do a cheeky fart. Here comes a cheeky fart. Ask me how to unlock extreme farts. Hi Peas, it's 8 p.m. and we have finished up the barbecue. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Jamie's parents have invested in like this uh, barbecue pit and it's just adorable to sit around and roast marshmallows. I always like the idea of roasting marshmallows, but I'm not so fond of the taste. They're so super, super sickly sweet. I don't want to let you out, Polo. It's like really dark, so I'm just going to shut that. One is good, but any more than that is just a bit much. The other thing that really bugs me about... Oh, come on. The other thing that really bugs me about fires is the smell. It gets like 
my hair smells like bonfire, the clothes that I wore will smell like bonfire, and it's not just for that day, it's for like multiple days afterwards, and I'm like, Grr. I said to Jamie that a great business idea would be, um, like, I don't know if I can do it, probably not, but scented charcoal, or the stuff that you pour on to make it fire up a bit more, accelerant, if you had like strawberry scented or meadow scented, that would be, that would be good. <laughs> Uh, I am grabbing myself a yoghurt and Jamie and I are heading to bed and doing no work today because we're having a bit of a down evening. It's okay, it happens. Jamie's not feeling too wonderful and so we're just going to chill out, watch some TV, just do nothing. You know? I'll edit this vlog, but apart from that, just have a good time. Everybody just needs a cuddle now and then. On that note, I will love you and leave you. I know it's been a tiny vlog, but uh, it's been a very interesting week. I am both looking forward and very scared so this week coming up, I'm going to be like finalising job plans. I'm going to be uh, going to the wedding venue. We've got our first wedding meeting and a few other things. But we'll, of course, take you along with us. This is also, this is also our time for boring vlogs because we're going to be home. Uh, we, don't, we don't have like huge weekend plans or if we do, they're sort of local, which is, uh, which is very nice. Very nice. All right, my sweet peas, if you have a bank holiday, I hope you have been having a wonderful one. Uh, I wish you the very best week and I will see you on Thursday. Do you give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed them, subscribe. If you'd like to see more, be kind and have a great day. Bye.